rickshaw here. It's the 18th. And I finally went to war with the ants. So I went on YouTube. I don't know if you can see them there already, but they're starting. What I did was, uh, and this was something I actually knew a long time ago, and I guess I just forgot, was the borax and sugar. Um, I'm at war with the ants here. Uh, just, just fed up with them, getting all in our clothes and getting all over the place. So today I went online again and watched a whole bunch of uh, informative videos on the on the borax. And it seemed to be the general consensus was 25% borax. So what I did was I got my measuring cup and I put a, a teaspoonful, heaping teaspoon of borax and I poured enough water in it to turn it into solution. And then I went ahead and uh, uh, put three of sugar. And now I made mine a little bit more liquidy than uh, than uh, probably should be, should be, but the one in the kitchen, they're already attacking it. That's where we got the worst ants, no matter how much my wife cleans it up with vinegar and all that stuff, we just always got a lot of ants there. They, they get into everything. Uh, I bought a kilo of borax from Lazada for like next to nothing. I think it's 67 pesos for, a, for the container, and then I had a free shipping voucher, so that wasn't too bad. Just ordered it, it came today. So I mixed it up. Uh, I put one out here too because we get tracks going all the way upstairs on this wall and I'm sure they'll find it uh, soon. Maybe I'll put it up. Maybe I'm going to put it up here where I see some ants now. There we go. And that sun will help dry it out a little bit. But uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and let them uh, let them eat that. I'll try the different, uh, you know, add more sugar or less as we go. But uh, that's just what I'm trying now. I got three traps out uh, just to try it out. I mainly got this for the new house. I'm going to make traps and spray. There's also a way you can make the spray. Uh, it's a little bit more concentrated with the borax. And then you mix it up real good, put it in a spray bottle and spray it wherever you see ant tracks or anything and let them get it to the nest. So we're going to be watching that at the new house. Uh, I'll keep on it uh, as long as I can because I, I just get fed up with these things. Um, you know, the, the speeder ants we see around here, they don't bug me too much. Uh, but the these little uh, I call them acid ants. Uh, they're they're light. Uh, they're like a light brown with a darker abdomen. And these things, when they get on you, they sting. And the other ones that really got me, we were I was out uh, throwing frisbees with the kid, kids and Mumu. His went up in a tree. It wasn't a mango, uh, mango tree, which is where you see a lot of these red ants. It was just a real leafy tree. Uh, I don't see, never seen any fruit on it or anything, but very thick foliage. And it was up kind of high, so I got my stick and I beat it down a little bit, which probably enraged the ants. And then when I stuck my hand in there to get it, I got about 20 of them on my arm. And these things locked onto me. I mean, they're, they're, as soon as their mandibles locked onto my skin, it was a heck of a bite. Their, their back of their bodies lifted up. They were biting so hard. And I had, I had quite a few of them on me. They got me in the neck, the arms. So be careful here when you're, when you're uh, disrupting these guys' habitat. So, but uh, I ju I'm just fed up with them in the house. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm just going to go ahead and try this. Hopefully it'll work. And uh, I need an anteater. <laughs> But uh, I did. I do remember using the borax years ago in the garden uh, when I had a lot of ants and stuff. And it claims it also works on cockroaches and things like that. Here we don't really have a cockroach problem. Uh, if there is one around, my wife, I mean, she just is on attack mode and she does not quit until she gets it. Uh, so far, they just don't get away here when she's after them. She hates them. Uh, where we used to live, you could, we had screen doors, which was really nice. But uh, the problem with the with the cockroaches over there, they would fly in. These things fly, and they're pretty big. They're they're this big, and uh, they fly in, and it, it just was really bad over there. Uh, just terrible. Uh, I did notice something though, and and um, I was talking to my buddy June at the motorcycle shop, and. Uh, late 40s about that I never did ask him his age I think when he died he was only 50 something 52 but um, I saw the cockroaches outside our first house and they just walking around like a cockroach does well when I 
saw the cockroaches this one day, they were way up on their legs. They had their bodies way up high off the ground and were really scurrying. They were, they were moving very quickly. And, uh, when I, and I was on my way to the motorcycle shop, just at the end of my alley, and I told June about it. And he goes, oh, whenever you see that, there's going to be an earthquake. And I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a cynic, I guess. And, I, and I, so I was like, yeah, all right, guess what? Middle of the night, we had an earthquake. So if you see the cockroaches riding high up off the ground with a space between them, normally their body is right on the ground. But if you see it up high, that's an a impending earthquake, according to our friend June, who passed away. But uh, he was dead on the money on that. And then... Uh, there, we had another earthquake after that. This is many years ago uh, after that, and we saw it again. Now, this earthquake that happened, we saw them up high on their feet, and, and it was terrible over at that place. There was a lot of them. And uh, it was like a day, it was almost a whole day later that a minor tremor hit us. So, you know, that could be, you know, just twice I've seen it. I haven't seen any of these things running around here. One thing about this house, though, I think since we've been here, there's been maybe three or four. And uh, none of them survived because my wife is, uh, she's at war with them. She's a killer. Uh, she gets them and she chases them. Tells same way with the mosquitoes. If she sees a mosquito around, she she knows how to get them things. Me, I go after them. I miss them three, four times. If I in, and I may not get them at all. When she goes after them, they're in trouble because she gets them. So she's a master at it. But but uh, we got this out here. Uh, I see they're going. There's a little door in the back. I can see they're already going for that. Uh, it's kind of liquidy. Uh, I probably should have made it thicker into clumps, but uh, we'll see how this works. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another one, uh, make it a little bit more clumpy. And uh, some some places said on the line to use uh, boiling water to mix the borax. Some just I saw them just using regular clear water. I watched about ten videos on it. Not any of the real long ones, just the short ones. And uh, hopefully this will tone them down and if it works really good here we're going to bring it to the new house i'll make them i think i'll make them quickly and i'll set them around the perimeter of the house and if we see any ants coming in anywhere we'll we'll take care of that uh we did see that uh a lot of things are are done on the house uh the neighbor went over there and just was was looking in the windows for us uh, nice nice neighbor down the street and uh, they it looked like they thought everything was in they, they said it looked like everything was in and done so if that's the case maybe you know maybe we'll be getting the move next month I'm not sure it depends on what this lockdown is going to do uh, my neighbor over here that goes to Batangas quite often uh, hasn't tried yet because they were told uh, they would have to get a swab test and he's nope not going to do it uh, I still I just don't understand the reasoning of going all the way to the back of your head to test for something that if you walk into a store and just breathe infects everybody in the place uh, that's that's just you know that's just me questioning it I'm not saying uh, why or anything like that I somebody got on there and left a comment about oh because it has to be blah 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 eh, I wasn't buying their comment it's in there if you want to look at uh, in some of the comments I just wasn't buying that it just doesn't seem to me they got to go all the way to the back of your head to a very sensitive area of your body uh, I started looking that up online and yeah it's a very sensitive area uh, I actually uh, was going back and forth with my my doctor he's an Indian guy and he's really trusted him uh, you know my doctor before that I trusted him and then he he retired he got too old and then uh, then this uh, new guy came in and right off the bat I, I trusted him uh, you know he just he doesn't go straight for the medicines and all that kind of stuff he'll try to help you out naturally at first uh, you know to get you get you up and running uh, diets stuff like that and uh, for an older guy he's he's I'd say 10 years older than me uh, last time I saw him in 216 he looked pretty good yet uh, he looked in real good shape uh, and he just just as a so I believed him to be a real good doctor and, and uh, I was going back and forth this was a while back about that thing and he said don't, don't, don't do it don't don't you don't want to be messing around back in there 
uh, that's a that's a dangerous site uh, he said because somebody could poke you more than they should and look at look who does that around here you know it's just these little uh, young girls uh, you know it was like when I was at the dentist one time this was this was in the States and I had a, a tooth that was it was bad and I, I didn't want the dentist to excise the whole tooth I just wanted him to clean it out and fill that small spot and the young girl came in there to do like a, a cleaning first uh, it wasn't too bad and she poked that pointy metal thing right inside the hole and I'm telling you what I almost come out of the chair and I, I asked what'd you do that for you know the dentist came in there and was looking around in there with this little metal tool and he says okay we'll, we'll clean that up no problem and I kept going to that dentist uh, there even when I moved away I drove all the way back because I, I never was one I can't understand why they uh, when I was in the service they did cavities where they just excised the whole tooth clean the whole inside out and then they packed it full of uh, looked like cotton and stuff and then the amalgam on there which is mercury why do they have to do that and then I had the the tooth I got missing back here that I had to have taken out was because that finally broke there wasn't enough dental material and biting on something it, it broke so I had to go to the dentist here and have him pull it 500 pesos by the way and uh, didn't have to have antibiotics on that one we watched it uh, he had me come back no charge he said you know next time you're over here in the next few days uh, just let me take a look at it if you feel any soreness or anything come in right away you know in case if I need antibiotics but they're not too big on giving antibiotics here but the funny thing is in this country you can just go buy them uh, a lot of places you can get different types of uh, antibiotics without a prescription so I'd be real careful of that but uh, there's our little thing on the uh, the war we're starting and uh, hopefully, hopefully this is going to work out well. I'm going to make a spray bottle of it next and, and hit some of the tracks we've seen. Uh, there's a couple tracks by the door. It's a little dark in there now, but there's some tracks by the door. And there's my little sweetheart. She's the one who helps me make the borax, right? Yeah. Yeah. And are you going to do the sign out for me? Hi, Richard. Bye-bye. What do you say? You're supposed to say, don't forget to pray for each other. I don't like Why? You do. Don't forget to pray for each other. And action. <laughs> we'll see you guys.